Hey everyone, it's Whitney with NatureHills.com. We are quickly approaching peak peach season. And what better way to celebrate than to go over our absolute favorites? While I'm a firm believer that all peach trees are amazing, I did poll our horticulturists and peach tree enthusiasts here to come up with a list of five that rise above the rest. Without further ado, the top five peach trees. Number five, Indian Free Peach. Indian Free makes this list as a personal and professional recommendation from our lead fruit guy here at Nature Hills. He swears that there's nothing that comes even close to the taste of a fully ripe Indian Free. It's a freestone variety with exceptional disease resistance and requires around 700 chill hours to fruit, so it's a great variety for those of us with longer winters. Keep in mind, this peach is an exception to the self-pollinating rule and will need a pollinating partner to produce fruit. Pair it with any other variety and extend your peach harvest season. Number five, Indian Free Peach. Growing zones five through nine, disease resistant and an heirloom freestone variety. Number four, Scarlet Halo Peach. We love a unique fruit that tastes as good as it looks. Scarlet Halo makes this list for the delicious flavor of the red flesh and its delightfully quirky donut shape. It requires fewer chill hours, clocking in at needing only 400 to 600 to produce fruit. It's a semi-freestone variety, and the tree has strong branches that grow in a nice, upright form. Feel free to prune in order to keep the fruit at a reachable height. Enjoy the peaches as preserves, dehydrated, or fresh off the tree. Number four, Scarlet Halo Peach Tree. Growing zones six through nine, delicious donut-shaped semi-freestone fruit and a must-have for peach lovers. Number three, White Lady Peach. Looks might be deceiving when it comes to this variety, the skin takes on an orange tone with a red blush, but once you open it up, you'll find a sweet, light cream-colored flesh. This freestone variety is ready to harvest around late July, and you'll find that you have enough peaches to eat fresh, bake a couple pies, dry some for trail mix, and still have more than enough to save for later. This variety is pretty adaptable to harsher climates and needs 800 to 900 chill hours for fruit production. Number three, White Lady Peach. Growing zones five through nine, rare and sweet white-fleshed fruit and great for baking and preserving. Number two, Alberta peach. Everyone here agreed that this list needed to include Alberta. It's truly the classic American peach and is probably what you'd pick up when you go to the grocery store. It's reliable, self-fertile, incredibly productive, and has, in our eyes, entirely earned its spot in the mainstream fruit scene. Its large freestone yellowish red fruit are fantastic for baking, cooking, canning, freezing, preserving, I mean the list goes on and on. It requires 800 to 900 chill hours for fruit production and tends to be ready to harvest in August. Number two, Alberta peach tree. Growing zones five through nine, versatile fruit, and the classic American peach look. Number one, Reliance peach. Our number one pick is one of the hardiest peaches you'll find, requiring 1,000 chill hours and has been known to grow well at up to 6,000 feet of elevation. That's one hardy peach. Its juicy yellow freestone fruit has a fantastic texture and yellow pink blushed skin. It's self-pollinating, so a partner isn't necessary. However, you'll always get a bigger harvest if there's another peach tree close by. Eat these fresh off the tree or can them and enjoy them in the winter. Number one, Reliance Peach Tree. Growing zones four through eight, very hardy and amazing for canning. So what do you think? Are you gonna be adding any of these varieties to your garden? Let me know your favorites down in the comments. As always, if you like our videos, please like and leave a subscribe on our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out our hashtag ProPlantTips blog for more of our favorites, tips, and tricks. For more garden inspiration, head on over to our Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. That's all I've got for today, so until next time, happy planting!